Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm beyond excited to be sharing with you all a winter fragrance haul review featuring none other than... Hive and Honey, guys. Oh my God. So I love... Hive and Honey so much. I've been following Hive and Honey since 2020. It's 2023. Shout out to Angie. Like, she's actually been a candle maker herself. So she's constantly testing candle wicks and wax, trying to see what works best together. But then she's a full-on supplier. So imagine having someone who knows behind the scenes better because she's actually sold them in the past and gives you these insights. So it's super exciting today to give you a full review of what to expect from the winter holiday fragrance bundle. So definitely stay tuned for the video. If you like fragrance reviews, candle business vlogs, candle business tips, all of that good stuff, you have to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, guys, let's just jump right into it. Have and Honey shipping is incredibly fast. I know that's something we always struggle with as it relates to being entrepreneurs in this small business space. And you're buying from suppliers and it's taking weeks after weeks. Hive and Honey doesn't take that long. It's a very quick turnaround. And then if you use my code, you do get some money off, which can definitely help long term. Because as you all know, with your business, you want to spend less money on products, see a more return on investment. So definitely use my code, you'll get money off. But yeah, let's just open this baby up. I love that she always puts a stamp that says Hive and Honey on her box. So freaking cute. Curious if I think she has a warehouse. I'm just so curious about how like, there's a warehouse. Like, how does this work? You know, <laughs> how does this business run? But I'm gonna give you all my honest opinion of each scent, and then we'll look at what the notes actually are on the website. Or we don't even have to do that because the best part about having honey is that the notes are on the bottles. Like that's very uncommon too. Typically, what you're gonna see from vendors is that the notes are on the website. Very exciting stuff. And you're always gonna get a free wax melt, which I have, I have whacked up quite a few of these. Um, oh my God, I love this. Holiday Citrus Cheer, which is iced champagne, pineapple, orange juice, juicy apples, light floral sugar crystals. Girl, you make me wanna get a, a mimosa. That's what it sounds like. So it's champagne, pineapple, orange juice, juicy apples, light floral sugar crystals. I want a mimosa, like wait, love that. Okay, so period, let me smell it. Oh my god. It's giving vibes. Like somehow she managed to make it smell like a, a happy hour. Like what? So wow, super exciting. So I wonder this is like a preface to what to expect this winter bundle. I'm excited. But how cute is it that there are always these uh beautiful like honeycombs? She uses honeycomb molds because it's high in honey. <laughs> Wow, so it's like a beehive, which is where the wax is, but then the honey, which is like the sweet, I guess, fragrance. I don't know. I'm trying to see if it's a play on words like that. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think of that play on words. Let's open this baby up. She never really has any spills or anything like that. So nothing ever spills. Two ounces. So you get like 20 ounces of wax, uh, fragrance oil for like... 35 bucks, it's such a good deal, it's crazy. And you get to get an honest depiction of each scent because two ounces, you can make multiple candles, you can make multiple melts. You can really take advantage. So we're gonna be using Q-tips today. So I got a comment from someone um, last week who mentioned, or last haul, who was like, you should try Q-tips to test. I'm like, that's a great idea. I, I usually use those to blend fragrances, but I was like, why not do that? Today, I also have this little riser here for us. So the first thing I see is iced vanilla woodlands. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at the notes and just from a guess, I'm thinking woodlands would be like sandalwood and iced. I don't know if it's a, a sugary component and vanilla, we know what that smells like. It's a sweeter, more of an almond scent. So I'm super excited, let's see. Let's grab some Q-tips. I'm gonna use each end to save. So we really only need five Q-tips. Boom, baby. Ooh, this smells so good. It's almost like a, a spearminty scent. Like a peppermint scent, I mean. Like a peppermint, mahogany. 
Very, very subtle vanilla. Oh my gosh. So this is vanilla lavender. That's what that is. So it's not peppermint. It's like a, and then vanilla, lavender, smoky notes, and woody notes. So it's like, it's like vanilla and, um, it's like peppermint. I feel like smoky and lavender to me make peppermint. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like clean, but masculine scent. Oh, this has always been a bestseller for me. Lavender Vanilla has always been a bestseller. I definitely recommend using the notes Lavender Vanilla. So you definitely got to get Ice Vanilla Woodlands. I would give this a 20 out of 10. This is crazy. It's so masculine. It's perfect for this season. I, I, I feel like I'm going to sell a lot of these. This is this would be like a mature scent. I could smell leather. I definitely smell like a smoky note there. I ought to even leather as a scent. And then the woodiness of it is a king for the holidays because people are at home they want to sit back and enjoy the ambiance with wood and what better way to do that than with this ice vanilla wood so you gotta try it guys 20 out of 10 i've never even said that before but wait that's good next we have winter citrus wreath so i'll just give you guys my honest opinion here At first sniff, it's just a very strong orange. I don't smell anything else, but just uh, orange peel. So the notes are citrus, pine, clove, musk, and woody. It doesn't smell like pine, clove, musk, or woody. It's a strong orange. So I would give this like a six out of 10 to be completely honest. Next we have candied winter apple. That does not smell like apple at all, guys. But it smells more like... It's, a, it's giving orange, too, but not orange like the other one. That was like orange juice. So this is like some sort of orange family. And I'm getting like a, a masculine scent. So I'd say maybe a musk. Um... Let's see what the notes are. Okay. Apple, orange zest. I knew it wasn't just orange. Maple, cinnamon, neroli. Comment what neroli is. Rose, musk, and oak moss. Okay. So I do smell the musk and oak moss now. No maple. I don't smell any maple. And an orange zest. So this is a more of a masculine scent that I know would do really well. Um, candied winter apple. I believe this one was also inspired by Bath and Body Works on their site too, if I'm not mistaken. And this would do really well if you have a holiday line and you want to make sure you have an additional clean scent. It does not smell like an apple at all. It smells very like a masculine citrus. Next we have Christmas Wish. We'll smell it without looking at the notes. Okay, so it smells like a very sweet maple. Almost, but then there's like a spearmint in there. Like a spearmint maple. I don't know. Okay, so it's a cookies. That's what it is. Not maple. Pine. Scent. Okay. Vanilla and sugar cane. How does... What are the notes of a cookie? Comment what those are. Uh, let me know. <laughs> But I like it. I think it's nice. I think it's like an 8 out of 10. I wouldn't I wouldn't use it just because of the, you don't do pine and cookies, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you got to think about it. Sometimes fragrance blending is like cooking. If you wouldn't put, you wouldn't put a cookie with a bourbon. You would never really do bourbon cookies. But I don't know. It might taste good. Comment what you think. Next we have Merry Maple Bourbon. Okay. It already smells like butter. It smells like butter. Butter baby. Yeah, so I'm getting butter. I'm getting cinnamon. Sweet. Maybe some balsam in there. I don't know. The notes are sweet maple, spiced bourbon, and cedar wood. Okay, so not balsam, cedar wood. Okay, this is good. This is something I know would sell really well, but I wouldn't buy it running myself. Like, people love a maple bourbon. I don't know, I would give this like an 8 out of 10. Just because I wouldn't burn it myself, but I know a couple people who would purchase it. Next we have Snow Day. Okay, so I'm super excited to try this one. Oh my gosh. So just by... The first sniff, it smells like cologne. Let's just see what this is. 
Mm. It's like a spearmint, peppermint, cologne to me. Okay, the notes are spruce, fruit, peppermint, green floral, vanilla, and green musk. Okay. So green to me is not a scent. Comment what y'all think green scent is. And it also has um, peppermint, floral, vanilla, and musk. That's exciting. Okay. Nice. I don't know. I don't know if I'd use it. It's giving like a, a another 8 out of 10. To be honest, it's not like the best scent. But if you like blue spruce, you would like this. You know. Next we have peppermint swirl. Okay. It's very peppermint. Very, very peppermint. It's like a masculine peppermint. Almost balsam and peppermint. Let's see. Every time. Okay, so it's peppermint, mint, and eucalyptus. Vanilla and sandalwood. Ooh, now I'm getting vanilla. Oh my god. Okay, I love this. Okay, actually I love this. I feel like this would be a really good candle to make. Um, just for a Christmas line. Oh my god. Like peppermint sticks. This is so refreshing. I feel like the sandalwood really balances it out. So I would definitely say you guys have to check this one out. Um, definitely a great scent. 10 out of 10 actually. I'm giving this a 10. Next we have chestnut and birch. Or birch. However you say it. I can't really smell it. So the scent isn't there. It's kind of like smells like water. Like water and, and like gardenia and water. I'm trying to like go away from it and come back. Because usually when you go away and come back you can smell stuff. Gardenia water. Cotton, clean cotton, I don't know. So it's chestnut, caramel, sea salt, woody notes, bark, bark, leather, watery, watery notes, right? Like how in the heck did you create a scent that actually smells like, it genuinely smells like water and I never knew that was even a thing. It smells like water. So I would give this like a eight out of 10 as well. Like if you want something that smells like water, People might go for that, but then again, we have to see how this, because water, since I don't know if that'll mix or blend well with wax, you know? Like, maybe a room spray, because it's just going to blend with other liquids, but a uh, wax? I wonder how water would permeate the room. Typically, it's a challenge with those subtle scents to get them to give you a strong hot throw, but I don't know. I'll definitely do a testing on it. Okay. Next we have Cranberry Woods, all right. Ooh, before even dipping it, it's strong. It's a fruit scent. Maybe this will help. Oh my God. So it's giving like almost a raspberry. Like a raspberry, spearmint. I wonder why it's called cranberry. It smells like raspberry. Raspberry and spearmint. Okay, the notes are green grass, citrus, raspberries. I knew it was raspberries! I knew it! Y'all heard me play the clip back. <laughs> raspberries. Violet. Like, it's crazy because it says violet, but this smells like violet. Like, I don't know how. Like, the, the flower. Like, is there, is there a violet flower? It's giving. Wow. Musk and sandalwood. So I'm not getting that at first scent, but I wonder if you create a candle with it, you'll get the musk and sandalwood to come out. Maybe. But yeah, this is a 10. Cranberry Woods. It's almost like Black Cherry Merlot for Bath and Body Works. You gotta get this Cranberry Woods. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, I don't even know what it is, I'm saying certainly not least, but it is Holiday Citrus Cheer. Okay, so that sounds festive. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, 
That's the same one as her wax melt that she she sent. Yes, so it's like a champagne with orange juice and pineapple juice. Period. I love this scent. It is so fun. It just smells like a fun pink drink that you would get at the bar, but with orange juice in it. Maybe you would get it with orange juice and champagne, but like a pink flower in it. That's what it feels like. So it, the notes are ice champagne, pineapple, orange juice, juicy apples, not just apples, juicy apples, light floral, and sugar crystals. I love that. Oh my god, it smells so good. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I like this. Wow. Oh my god, that was amazing. So, wow. That was the end. I mean, I pretty much didn't give anything any lower rating than an, you know, an 8. I would be transparent with y'all on all of these videos. Even though I have partnered with them, I used to purchase from them all the time for three years before even partnering with them. And I just love how... It's a candle maker focusing on us. So yeah, definitely check them out. Use my code. You will get some money off and you know you need that as it relates to it being really challenging with, you know, selling or selling products and trying to actually get a return on investment. So definitely use my code Boss Vision. You'll get money off. Comment below any sense you've already tried or you will be trying. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just living your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.